tractor. Oh my goodness, we have those here? We gotta look for neighborhood pythons. Pythons in the neighborhood. I guess how focused Toby is. Oh, what? Okay, guys, I wanted to show you the new car, well, van, I guess. It's our little adventure mobile. I washed it today, but then it started raining. And honestly, it's hard to keep it clean when you own a, a monkey and a human man that, you know, likes to make a mess of this car. So I should have showed it to you a while ago, but here we go. It is a Nissan NV200. It's a smaller van, but honestly, there's more than enough space for the three of us. Look at her. Look at the light bars we got. We have like a little setup to put like a chair on top that we'll show you tonight. I don't want to do it myself because it's all slippery and I'm going to fall. And then I can't make videos. Look at that. You got a nice little light bar on the bottom front, the top front, another light bar. We're so dramatic. Brett actually did all of the wiring and light bars and everything. He's been so good about that. Oh, these nice little rims that are all dirty. But I've been wanting to get a van for a while just because we have so much stuff that we bring in all our adventures. And honestly, you sleep on the side of the road a lot to take naps. And, you know, we build a bed in the back of this. And how much better does that sound than sitting in the front seat of a small little car? So let's open this bad boy up. Okay, so here's a little seat. Okay, we open it up. It doesn't look like much, but there's our little bed folded into the couch right now. And it's like a cool like slide out futon. So it's literally just wood planks divvied up and you slide this part out. Super sturdy, super simple. Let's go to the side. Here's Toby's little hammock. He loves going on this thing. There's all the underneath storage it fits two large bins and a little cooler got toby's carrier you know we keep all our boots we keep some snake bags and extra tools in here we got this cute little trash can which i thought would work out better but toby likes to stick his little hands right here and get all the trash out so not working too great but we try let's go to the upper right so i absolutely love my seat covers don't worry, they're faux leather. No animals were harmed in the making of these things, but how cool is that little crocodile print? So super basic interior, really nothing great. Matching steering wheel cover. Pull out the bed and show you guys that. Okay, so I got the bed folded out. I'll just show you sometime how I do that, but you can see that's the van, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it. So oh, we're going to take it out tonight, of course, because it's, you know, greatest time of the year. Got all the animals going. It's a small van, but it's a mighty van, kind of like me. And it's been really good to us, so we really like it. And we hope you guys like it, too. Brett, where are you? Brett. Toby. <laughs> Look what I found, Tay. I caught this little monster. Oh my goodness, we have those here? I don't know. What are we going to do? Whoa. Is it a snake? What kind of monster is this? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you guys go. ready to go out? Let's you go ready to some, party? Let's go do some snack hunting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you so bad. Don't. You gonna jump? Don't jump! Woo! Woo! Guys, we had like 10 energy drinks. We're about ready! <laughs> we are in the shagging wagon. Actually, I don't. I, I like to call it something else. What do you guys think we should call? That's what it's called. It doesn't mean we have to, but that's just its name. What do you guys think we should call the adventure van? Toby's adventure van? Yeah, guys, drop in the comments what you want us to name the van. I'm calling it the Shaggin' Wagon. That's not really what it's used for. So I'm glad. The Hurt Mobile, <laughs> but that sounds gross. I don't want to call it that either. Not the Hurt Mobile. So hopefully you guys liked the uh, seeing what we've done to it, although it's not that much. We got a bed, we got cool seats, we got lights, we got the little seat up top. Oh yeah, the whole rack and the seat yeah. and the spinning seat. Why did I, one of our lights go out? Which light went out? Is I, it one? I think it was this. Did the car battery die? I think. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> To be scared. It's like, whoa. <laughs> it just tried to put We're gonna a fast one on yeah. us. Oh my God. We're excited to start taking it out more. Go, get over here. We're but, excited to take it out more and more and uh, 
let us know like what you think of it what you think we should do to it and i also want to put a sunroof so i can climb in and out and get on top that'd be and, like, a lot easier around. than you having to launch me on top like a yeah, cannonball to... but you saw what the van looks like now we're gonna go out tonight like we said in one of our last videos it's been raining it's the good season now um it's been raining like non-stop every day for the last like week or two or something yeah. so let's go out and see what we could find besides toby finding food in the van so let's go I Guess see how focused Toby is? So many mango trees. Do they have mangoes on them? Yeah. Or are they pond apples? It looked like mangoes are really big. Really? They could have pond apples, but they're <laughs> Toby saw something, we're going back. I don't know, Toby, let's go back. What'd you see? Also, all these ditches have alligators. Uh, people always ask about alligators, and I just forget to film them because they're everywhere. What'd you see, Toby? Python? Snake? Turtle? We saw something. You want to show everyone your favorite spot to hurt? Alright, Deb. This is how tropical this area is. Urban South Florida. There's water on either side flowing through. Palms here, the narrow mouth frogs calling. Our side light bars, we lined up perfectly so they hit the canals. Alright, ready? Side light bars, light. Woo! Uh, these are really good areas for pythons, even though there's there's houses. Uh, the exotic wildlife lives right here around the people. Chameleons in the trees, cane toads, toke geckos, you name it, we catch it here. There's a big board today, you want to go flip it. Toad, get in here. Let's go look at the cane toads. Let's see if it'll hold still for... Look at that sucker. Look at that big old sock. These things are so fast. It's like a... Hey! Come back, dude. South American cane toads. Oh, what? That's the first time I've ever been charged and attacked by a cane toad. Walking back to the car in a native frog. Looks like a bullfrog, but it's called a pig frog. This is the one that uh, a lot of people catch and consume. So, pig frog. So what are you doing? You eating Ooh, you eating bugs? Get him somewhere and I didn't know Get him out of the road. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, um, this is really cool. Granted, this is a pretty common snake we come across. Oh my god, the bugs. I know. Um, pretty common animal that we come across are these bugs. A lot. Sorry, the bugs are infesting my face. This is a really common snake, but we found this is a road we've never seen one on before, so this is pretty exciting. It's a large scarlet. Um, we're going to get them out of the road, but the bugs are absolutely intense. Okay, uh, right. They're literally everywhere. The bugs are so crazy. Open it for two seconds. They're in your eyes. They're in my eyes. They're in my mouth. This is how bad South Florida is for mosquitoes and bugs. It's alive with mosquitoes. This is insanity. These are all giant blood-sucking mosquitoes. You get out of the car this time of year, and this is what happens. That's not snow, that's not rain, that's real, raw Florida. Looky here. This is a crayfish snake. They don't do much besides eat crayfish. Did you eat something? Move you. Thought you'd like me more than this, but I guess not. Bye. And then he pooped all over me. This giant beetle. Okay, sir. Okay, he's done. We got a second crayfish. I wonder if this one will poop on me as much and get upset. Hey, buddy. Have you crossed the road? There's a lot of people out today. 
Okay, bye. Look what we just pulled up on. That's a good size one. Look at that thing. We are just hanging out. It owns the place. It lives here. Hey, Red, help me down. I'm little. Hey, that's a big one. You gotta be careful. <laughs> oh, I'm like a little baby. Thanks. Oh, oh, it sees us now. Holy smokes, guys. All right. Hey, that's actually a really good size one. Here, we got to go that way. It's amazing how like observant they are. They always are watching. best thing to do if you get a big uh, python like this out in the open is you just keep going around it making it strike and burn up all its energy makes it a lot easier to catch all right oh okay oh so i'm going to distract him and you'll come in for the neck grab you just got to be careful he's if he bites you it's not going to be good Tay, i think he's probably a solid 12. Yeah. Go, two hints. Go, two hints. This also, with its size, time of year, this is probably a big female that just came off of a nest. You always poop. Oh, urate's everywhere. Oh. What? I was moving him. <laughs> Did they burn out for. Look at that. He was hissed at me, then he's like, oh, Got him to jump in circles, and then you got him got him pretty easily. Oh, I didn't see you there. This is me and my new boyfriend. <laughs> oh, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> yeah, he's thick. I like him thick. Look, he's like as big around as your leg. Yeah. And he's very much alive. They just give up. Kind of like the big iguanas, you catch the big iguanas, they give up, you catch the big pythons, they just give up. Or actually, sorry, the secret is Taylor is actually just that strong. 13 feet. This is Taylor's largest solo catch python at 4 foot 11. 4 foot 10, okay? 4 foot 10. 100 pounds. <laughs> uh oh, it's building up its strength to strike and eat you. Uh, so once we stretch it out even further, but just a quick measure is an easy 13 you may stretch out to 13 and a half or close to 14. So good size snake. Impressive as always, Tay. Is that her thing? Sorry. <laughs> it's late. You Gotta keep myself it. entertained. You knocked it down where I can't. <sighs> okay, guys. Oh. I'm exhausted. I'm more exhausted. No, but I'm really exhausted. That was a crazy was night. Oh, we got some cool stuff. And how fun was that? I... 13, 14 ish, I don't know, foot python. Yeah. It's been a minute since we've caught anything like over like six, seven feet or something. Yeah, we've been catching a lot of pythons. We can only film certain ones. It's, uh, that's the biggest one we've seen in a little while. And it mm -hmm. came out of like, uh, it's crazy it's the stupid. places we're finding these neighborhoods. Like, I wonder how they like survive so long not being like found when they're like that big. I don't. I don't know. People are saying it's like a log in their backyard. 
but don't, oh, you're so annoying. Don't you ever get tired, Toby? But don't forget to like, subscribe, share, notification button <laughs> thing. And we're gonna go sleep in the back because that was the whole point of this van for me is so I could sleep more we're comfortably. Like three minutes down the road from our house. But. Shut up. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but thanks for joining us again, guys. We'll see you soon-ish. I don't know. Ow.